get the day started. Cold start. Sounds pretty, baby. What's up, everybody? It is Wednesday, eight in the morning. Um, today we're gonna we got a call for a permit. Got it right here. Boom. Um, call them. See what time they're coming. Uh, the guys already have everything torn off. Woods ready. Uh, they're changing the rest of the fixture board this morning. Um, hopefully, we got to call in five minutes. See the ocean side. Call between eight and eight thirty to figure out what time they're coming. Um, Show up to the job, meet the inspector, walk it with him, get it signed off, pass so the guys can continue. It's a torch roof. Uh, we're going to head out there right now, but first, we're going to get some gas. So let's go get some gas and I'll explain it later. Baby, there she flows. Can't see Nine bucks, four ninety nine again. I already passed the hundred mark. I say we should almost be done. We got some gas. Well, you can't tell we got gas, but we got gas. I'll tell you right now, actually. Start her up. Five hundred and twenty-five miles till I'm empty. Fourteen point nine miles per gallon. It was four dollars and ninety-nine cents a gallon. A hundred and twenty-three dollars and four cents. That's how much it took to fill up from a little over a quarter. And this is at Costco. Costco wholesale right there. Costco gas. They're the plug for gas. But anyways, we called for the permit. Uh, permit time is between 11.15 to 1.15. They give you a two-hour window. Hopefully, they get there early. Um, hopefully, they don't get there at 1.15. You never know these days. Uh, so, that's where they give you the time frame. So, we got to go to that job, drop off the permit. Um, I'll show you kind of what they're doing and what they did so far. Um, so, you guys kind of get what what it kind of takes in order to go through the inspection process and what you have to do in order for an inspector to come and pass it. So we'll go do that right now. Um, I got to drive all the way over there. It's about 10 minutes away, but for you guys, it's about like what? A second, two seconds. So while heading over there, I kind of want to ask you guys a question. What do you guys want to see? Um, what questions do you guys have about the roofing business or just the roofing in general? Um, because, you know, I make content for you guys about my everyday, you know, life and everyday tasks I do while roofing. So, I mean, what do you guys want to see? Uh, the, ch the channel's for you guys, essentially. I'm just here to vlog or blog or record what I do on a daily basis. So, drop a comment um, down below. Um, like it. Like the video if, you know, this is the kind of content you guys like. Um, but for sure, let me know. Constructive criticism is the best criticism so I can help you guys more or, you know, do it that way. But thank you. Thank, thank you for whoever's been watching, whoever's been my loyal subscribers, supporters, been through everything. Thank you very much. And what's up to the new viewers? Oh, it's one car per green. Welcome to the new viewers and hope, hopefully you enjoy this content so far. Uh, I've had the channel for about a year. So you guys can drop back all the way to my very first video, the one I did on my phone, actually. Um, it was probably the most nerve-wracking video I have ever done, and it was like a 40-second video. So, I mean, we all have to start somewhere. So, um, now today, year, year later, over a year later, damn, look at that. Ooh, almost just got an accident right there. Homie was going to the left, black car was going to the right, nobody was paying attention. Anyways, um, but yeah, so a year passed from now, and... You know, I had I bought the GoPro, and here I am, GoPro with the with the mic set up now. I got this cool attachment, GoPro attachments to it. Um, I was doing the whole process, working. Um, I got sick, couldn't work for about eight months. Um, 
then here we are again like I promised you guys while I was in the hospital that I'd get back to that regular regularly reg regularly scheduled roofing content um, so here we are baby we're back at it feeling good uh, feeling, feeling light feeling Flo floating like a butterfly stinging like a bee Ho hopefully this content is helping you guys out um, i also have another channel called truck talk where all i will do is post my truck content there uh, for all of you that don't know um, that channel is going to pre pretty much be about me going to dealerships if you guys want to see a truck for me to review a truck or anything like that car truck i will always ask the dealership be like hey do you guys got this truck or car um, I have a YouTube channel, let them know what's good, and that channel is basically for you guys again, you know, I'm here to help you guys out and see what kind of cars are out there and all that cool stuff, and any questions you have, I can look it up and whatnot and, you know, help you guys out. So, yeah, here we are. Dang, that's loud as hell. But here we are going to Oceanside, and let's just get back to it. Right here on the beach, look at these waves. Look at that. Ain't that freaking sick. But we're here doing torch on the ocean side. They're doing a new construction over there. We're doing this right here. Three ply torch, base, smooth, and then where's granulated? Granulated. So you put your base on. Perfect example. You put your base on right here. You go like this. You can kind of tell where the these darker lines right here. It looks like it's you know, they slid their feet. Well, you slide like this. Slide, slide, nail, slide, nail, slide, nail. Put nails here, right there. Nails here, right there. Nails here, right there. And nails here, right in the middle. <clears throat> then you get a half roll, a smooth, cut in half, half roll, full roll, half roll. This half roll will go to right here, and that full roll. And then from all the way down there, you try to line up with the smooth going all the way across this way and then when that's done you get a full roll you got to put your drip metal the white drip metal here above the smooth nail every i say two to three inches stagger so it'll, it'll look like this it'll be like this if this was a drip metal it'll be like nail 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 so it doesn't move because when you burn it metal will warp because of the heat from from the torch put that on put your your asphalt primer which is in that yellow can right there all around the whole thing in the drip metal get a full roll of torch like this with full roll of granulated which is that over there full piece burn the the skin us you know attach to the primer that you put on then that'll get burnt and then you go here so it goes here and it's another full roll here you get take that full roll you finish right here wherever this full roll goes over and then this full will just shoot all the way across no matter how far you go up so a full roll if you think about it, the full roll will probably go to about right here. Another full roll will probably go to about right here. And then this full roll will just go right over. So it might cover half the roll. But it doesn't matter. you got to make sure it's all like lined up straight in the pattern. So it looks good. So they put the base here. Base there. Half roll right there. As you can see right there. And yeah. Waiting for the inspector to come. Yeah. We're just waiting. Everything looks pretty. It's dope. Blessed to be here. Blessed to, you know, get these jobs and you know all these customers that are returning customers of ours. Um, it's always good. So we out here getting it done. We're making sure we're getting it done for you guys. Taking you along in the process. So that's about it. Let's head to the next one. All right, guys, check it out. We gotta unload the bundles from this truck to the back of this truck. So from here to here. Let's do it. I have a better idea. It's not open. All right. Now that's genius. 
both tail together, you just walk. Now, okay, let's do this. And just right across the there. This bundle. Across. And of course, they want to call now. Answer that later. Boom. Perfect. Perfect. Look with your legs. Have you guys ever done? kettlebell swings you kind of see in the you go like kind of same shit well too far on that one boom All done. Oh, we gotta move the chairs. Cause we have to get the ladder. Let's get the ladder. Load it up. It's in the way. This chair. Of course. Hey, of course. Boom. Ladder's loaded. Oh, and here's a somewhat semi cold start. to drive it down here back up move forward back up so it's somewhat cold somewhat warm kind of but there you go and then the key and then oh got to move this out of the way into the truck this bothers me the steering wheel being upside down I just can't take it there we go boom well welcome back to your weekly content of me doing roofing stuff and kind of just day by day things yesterday kind of finished off uh only did only recorded I, I believe one appointment or me taking off i already forgot and that was yesterday but nonetheless uh we are heading off to san diego to do another appointment and honestly i probably won't be able to record because what's going on with that one is she it's a previous customer and it's just a tile hanging off the roof so, I mean, there ain't much to record. Oh, damn, broke my nail. Anyways, so it's not going to be much to record. I'm probably going to give her a price, like a bare minimum price of like 250 or 300 just to go and fix it. Um, so that's kind of that one. And then the other one is in Vista, and it's another previous customer. They just want us to go walk the roof and make sure it's all good. So I might be able to record that if we get lucky. Um, and then Get on the kettle Sí. Bien porchadito. 
Sí, Jero. <risa> Al cabrón, Ero. Así que no. Claro, mira. You gotta make sure you step on it. Burns your corners. It's hot, so I'm not gonna touch it. Put the asphalt primer on the drip metal. This is that black stuff. Yeah, when that yellow cane we talked about the other day, spray it, and this is what I was talking about the nails. You gotta stagger it. Because when you burn it, metal warps because it gets so hot from the torch. So you, this is the primer. I'm not getting paid to do this, but that's that. Use inch and a quarter nails or seven eighths, whatever. Because this has plywood and then insulation below it. So it doesn't matter how big the nail, inch and a quarter, I always say it's best. Stagger it. Um, see the smooth has to go down has to wrap up and over. They used a half piece here. This one wrapped over there, so it kind of covers everything. Um, here's the asphalt primer they used so they didn't get it on the drip metal on the front side. So you use this, you spray it like this, and go so only this gets the asphalt primer on it and this. So when you see the face of the, so you see this face on the outside, it looks white, not black, like this from the, the overspray. Each flashing, as you can tell here, let's see, right here, put the flashing, and then you put the nails, put some primer on it, burn it down, then after that, you put the camisa on it, you burn this, and then after that, you put this, burn that on, burn it, good to go. So, flashing, camisa, and then granulated. Looks like this, like that. Burn it, shh, shh, good to go. What else is there? When you put the torch, you realize there was a half roll on the front, over there, for the smooth, and then the torch roll goes full rolls. Full rolls, and you try to keep all the seams in the middle, or over there, wherever you want to put the seams, but the seams, oh, you kind of want to keep them the same so it doesn't look seam there, seam there, so it doesn't look fail. And then over here, like I explained to you yesterday, 
how they were gonna match it. So this roll goes all the way across. They ended up putting a half roll here, shooting all the way that way. So now that, that roof has a full roll, three quarters of a roll, half roll, and then full roll. So now all this, from this row up, this one, up will be full rolls, so it all looks the same. The only thing that's gonna be different is this little section here, going down this way. It's just half roll down that way. It's just gonna be different size rolls. But that's just because of the of the way of the roof. So yeah, they're gonna go ahead and finish up here today. Um, I stopped by just to give you guys kind of like a little bit of overview of what they're doing. And that's pretty much about it. You saw them torching. You see them torching right there. Uh, that's how we do it. Uh, that's probably a lot of a lot of people do it, but that's how you get down. Propane tank, blow torch. You get the roller so you don't get the so you don't step on it. So it goes like this. Get this. They got to burn this part right here as he's walking. The guy that's burning torches and you just go like this. Put some pressure and push it like this and the caca will come out like this right here. Because you got to push it so all this caca right here comes out. So you don't get foot marks right here. Like as you're stepping you don't get those foot marks. It looks, it looks cleaner. That shit don't fall off the roof. Compressor, got your nail gun to put the nails in the flashings, nails in the drip metal, the primer, um, and that's what it looks like. See, this is the asphalt primer. Put this, you burn it like here, how you saw, burn this, burn it to here, about right here. So this isn't burnt only from here to there. Make sure this is down, step on it, that's burnt down, and then you move here and go shh, and that's assuming all this is already burnt. But yeah, that's pretty much about it. So let's head to the next one. Oh, and here's the waves again. Today's supposed to be four to eight feet. Uh, we're about high tide, because it's 11 o'clock. I think high tide's at 11.40. Yeah, it's 11.09, high tide's at 11.40. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. This, this, this is actually a rental, but this is, look at these waves, this is dope. They're gonna have a bonfire and stuff down there, chill in the sand. I mean, I probably wouldn't go swimming right here with all these damn rocks. Looks a little dangerous. Like the wave's going out. You can see it shh, going out. It's gonna hit that wave. Boom, see it? That's fucking crazy. This wave's about to crash. Boom. All right, guys, let's get out of here. All right, we're gonna roll out a roll right now. Tú, yo le piso ahí. Yo le piso. Yo. Oh, tú le piso. Toma la bala. Sí, tú. He's making sure it's lined up. Había ahí, no había. Sí, porque cuando se pisas. ¿Está bien? Ahí está, ahí está. ¿Sí? Sí, porque pisas bien como mucho pinche caca. No, quiero más. ¿Más? Ahí está. Ya, perfecto. Un bonito, párate. Párate, por favor, gracias. De nada, pero he's gonna cut there where the flashing's at. You gotta make sure it's lined up here, perfect. Cutting it with a pipe, he's gonna roll it out. Make sure it's lined up. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. 
De ahí para acá, enredate. Now you roll it back. Roll that thing back. Oh shit. So now this is straight. Pull it. Make sure it's lined up with the black on that side. Done, done, done diddly. Roll it back up. Burn it. You'll come here. Roll this up. Burn it. And then go burn the middle right there so it's everything's on that pipe. And you're good to go. I, I thought I recorded the whole thing, but I guess I didn't. My dumbass forgot to click record. Shit happens. But yeah. So let's get out of here. Not gonna lie, it's pretty dope what I do. I love it. You know, you get new places every day. Um, it's pretty dope. I enjoy it. And then you get to be in this truck all day almost. So, that's cool. I like it. I like what I do. We got good guys and all that stuff. So, you know, it helps business go smoother and better when you can trust your guys. Um, they do good work it's clean customers have questions they answer it all the time um, and if they can't answer it which they can if it's about pricing they always end up just calling us so that's good we, we trust our guys we pay them good um, they've been with us forever so you know we continue the tradition every year we get them pies and Christmas trees and whatever we can for the holidays apple pies pumpkin pies <clears throat> turkeys hams cakes uh i think we're gonna start implementing again bonuses at the end of the year for all the guys again you know as you grow you want to not only it doesn't only benefit you but you getting all this work it's not possible without your guys doing the clean work because they everybody bases your stuff off the work that you do so if your guys are doing a good job reward them you know what I mean buy them new pouches buy them new guns get them new tools you know make sure they're good make sure they have water make sure they have a cooler you know just like the the normal stuff the easy simple stuff that you would just overlook you need those for your guys if you don't treat your guys right why are they gonna stay with you you know what I mean so that's kind of where I think and me and my pops my pops has been doing it forever they were doing bonuses back when he had 178 employees and, you know, paying, I think, like $100,000 at the end of the year for for just bonuses for the guys, which which to me is crazy, which to him back in the days wasn't quite a bit. Um, it was like nothing at all to them because I think they were doing about 10 to $15 million a year. Um, but now that we're small... And hopefully I can take this over in the coming years or so and push through. And, you know, I'm not going to make the company huge, but I'll make it good enough. So, you know, we'll see. So, customer states there is a leak at the tarp. So here we are. Tarp is here. Good roof bad roof it's not a bad roof it's just it's hot mop can't do that anymore it tends to leak as you can see it says the leaks right here in this transition um, so this flat roof was done right this ends about right here and then it transitions to flat from about right here down this way so from here that's flat that's a little slope but what would you want to do is Tear this off, put that, run it up to about here, about this shingle, and then the torch would run to about right here, about right here. Um, you just take this off, take four lines off, like to about right here, tear it all off, get all that off, put a brand new roof on it, so on and so forth. He wants us to check his roof. Cracking in the mastic, cracking right here as well, as you can see, um, if you push on it, um, cracking. This seam was was cocked or mastic before, as you can tell. Mastic needs mastic. Um, needs mastic right there in the corners. Valleys look good. Look solid. Ridge starting to split right there, right here. 
Um, you're going to start seeing these wear and tear right here on the ridge. As you can tell, the fibers are starting to come off. So probably when it rains, all these little bristles and the granules come off these shingles. Pined up on the floor down here and all that cool stuff. Um, what else do we notice? So check it out. As you guys kind of saw there, um, the leak was coming in from the transition from the shingle roof down to the gravel, gravel, gravel rock roof. Um, normally rock roofs tend to leak. Um, they're more of an old school type of roof that was put on. It's called uh, hot mop where they put tar basically as you get in a roll roof, a torch down. And they just burn the tar with the mop, hence hot mop. And they do it like you're mopping the floor. And then once that gets cool enough, hot enough, you'd end up dropping rocks on it. So you get that, you know, what red color, black, um, tan, gray, you know, what white. Some people put like rocks that are like that big. So it kind of looks like all textured and all that stuff. So that's another roofing. It's old, um, but now we don't do that anymore. I haven't seen a company do it. I've seen people doing it. I just don't know if it was just like a, a repair or something along those lines. Um, we don't do it anymore. We did do it, but we stepped away from that. It's very dangerous. So we do torch. So something like that, if they wanted to redo that roof, you have to tear off all the rock, scrape it off, tear off the bottom, go down to bare wood and put your three ply system, which is base, smooth, granulated. Um, that's how I would do it. That's how we would do it as a company. Um, but for his sake, it's just a repair right there. Um, I just have a few more questions for him, but in order for, to do that repair, I, me personally, I rather just do the whole section, um, just so I can guarantee the work, uh, the whole part of giving a bid for your, to your customer, it's based on what you think as a professional, not on you making money. Um, if you don't think that the repair you're going to do, you can guarantee it 100% then do what you can guarantee 100%. If it's going to cost more money, if you if you know it's going to be better than what you think they want you to do, they're calling you out here to do a bid because you're a professional. You know what you're doing and you know what you're going to get yourself into. So if you want to guarantee the work 100%, do the work you 100% would guarantee somebody as if it were your own house. Um, don't cut corners and give them affordable price. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead. I already wrote some notes down. I got some pictures on my phone and I'm going to go back to the office and, you know, write it down and see what we can give them and do our best to give them the best price possible. So, yeah, that's going to end this video. Hope you guys enjoy. Um, I know it was like two days. Um, Monday went to the Chargers game. Tuesday recorded a little bit. Wednesday, I don't think I recorded any. Uh, Wednesday, yeah, yesterday I did a little bit. And then today, you know, finish off the video. So hope you guys enjoy. Um, hopefully next week I'll have my first truck talk video or by this weekend. Um, it's Thursday, 12. So it might be this Friday or over the weekend or next week. It might be the first video on my truck talk video or truck talk channel. If you guys want to go find the channel, like, subscribe. There's old videos on it that I did like over a year ago, but it was it was when I had my diesel truck and I went to the desert and going to the dump. The old school videos of me taking the trailer and stuff to the dump and all that cool stuff. So, yeah. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, um, share it, tag me in the bottom, tag me in the comments. Visit my truck page, uh, G-R-R-A-P. T-O-R-R, -R, Graptor, um, or you can follow my personal page if you have any questions want to reach out to me. Um, it's andrew.apodaca underscore. All right, guys. Peace out. Stay blessed up. Stay safe. Get after it. Get working. Peace.